All right. Well, this is catching up with uh, with Stuart Rice and Amber Peeler. Uh, Amber, what do you, how do you know me? Uh, you married my mom. I did. Yeah, I when did. I was like four or five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever age that was. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And so I basically raised Amber as my own. Um, I'm uh, so sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, look at how straight those teeth are. Um, so I, the reason I want to have you on, you actually were on my show. Uh, there is an episode yes. with Amber where we originally were going to talk about your experience on a co-op farm, but instead talked about zombies, which was okay. Yes. It was still fun and entertaining. And you did a sketch about India. But that is not why I have you on the show today. Now, usually when I do one of these catching up with, it's because the person I'm talking to is usually they either have a book or an album or a movie coming out but you've got the exact opposite situation you don't have a movie coming out and that's what we're going to talk to you about today so amber what makes you interesting today today well what doesn't make me interesting is the real question <laughs> um today okay so should i just yeah just spit it out spit it out okay I recently, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Propositioned. Uh, propositioned? No, that's not the word I'm looking for. It's a word that would work. Okay. You were invited to? Uh, yeah, I, I was propositioned to get into pornography, which at the, t at the time... Well, I, oh, we'll sorry. get there. Okay. Don't, don't get to it. Yes, you were propositioned for pornography. Yes. And uh, the reason I said Not up, really surprising. <laughs> so uh the reason you're on this show today is because and i kind of led up with talking about why your relation to me is that i would kind of be seen as your dad mm -hmm. right yes and i think a lot of times when people are propositioned for porn because it happens pretty often no offense <laughs> but it happens pretty often i think usually the last person someone goes to is their father figure so uh, I, the reason I wanted to have you on was um, because I think this is an interesting story and I think it might be useful for other people to kind of go yeah. through this process because this is not so. like you're the only person that got propositioned. Right. So and let's he talk was about actually it. the only person that I talked to about this. Yeah. And uh, I, just real quick, did I tell you you shouldn't do it? No. Nope. Important thing, parents... Uh, learn from me. Don't yeah. don't just tell somebody no. Take a time and listen. So that's what we're gonna do right now, and you get to enjoy it. <laughs> so, uh, Amber, tell us about this experience. How did it happen? Um, I was at work, and a guy comes up to me and says that he does modeling for uh, hookah for a hookah company, and he's like, "Yeah, this woman woman made blah 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 this amount," and I'm like, "Wow, that sounds awesome." Like, what kind of amounts and, though? Like, what, what were you saying? What, what kind of amounts do you remember? Oh, I don't remember. Okay. Um, was it like hundreds of dollars? I, he said something about hundreds. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hundreds. Um, but so he was like, "Well, he was like, you have like really pretty eyes, you know? I think you'd be great for this. I'm like, would you like to meet?" And I was like, "Yeah, that sounds awesome." And I was like non non-committal, but I was like, yeah, I'll just go, you know, test the water, see what this is about. So we go to a Starbucks, and he sits. Did me he down buy the coffee? He did. Well, actually, an iced tea. Oh. <laughs> and um, and we sit down, and basically, he's, you know, I don't really know like how it kicked off, but at some point, the, what I mainly remember is he says, "What are you willing to do for uh?" two thousand dollars and i'm like two thousand dollars <laughs> i was thinking like maybe i could get like a hundred dollars off of like just a shoot you know or whatever two thousand dollars i'm like now, i got the money high going right right now amber how old are you i'm 21 okay 21 years old two thousand dollars is how much money to you like, <laughs> is it not that much no two thousand dollars to me it's like oh that's kind of fun but like two thousand dollars for you is that's a game changer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, think about the things. What can you do with two thousand? Well, automatically, I've been wanting to go to an ayahuasca retreat. That was the first. And this funds that. 
Yeah. Fully completely. funds it and does that. Okay. Yeah. All right. It Good. could also I, uh, get me surgery for my bunions. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah. it's really important to have that kind of context is like, hey, $2,000 to someone old like myself is like, hmm. I mean, I don't mind $2,000. I would totally take $2,000, but it's not going to get me to change right. who I am or, or any of those types of things. Okay, good. So uh, he says, what would you be willing to do for $2,000? And you right. say? Um, I told him I would be open because I kind of figured that like if he was asking me this question, he was probably uh, asking like for more than just a clothed shoot. $2,000, I got the money high going. I'm like, I, I can do nude, you know? I was like, I can I can do nude. He's like, okay, would you be willing to give a guy a blowjob for $2,000 or how much would you be willing to do that for? And I'm like, I, I would try it. Basically, I'm just telling him I'm non-committal. I'm just and, saying and I would try it. Yes, and Amber, you're thinking <clears throat> it's him, right? No, I actually time, no, wasn't. You, oh, you didn't no, think it was him. I didn't that you were actually. Be doing when he that. told me that it was him, I was a little more disturbed, to oh, be honest. I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Um, <laughs> but so I got the money high going. Um, he he keeps talking about it. He says we could do different stuff, and you know, and I was uh, I I was getting pretty excited, to be honest. I was thinking about the money, and uh, he was just going on with whatever, and I was thinking about everything that I could do with the money and he was throwing things out like and we could get you a car and we could take you shopping and I'm just starting to feel like and he's and he's at the same time saying and we don't have to do anything you're not comfortable with so I'm feeling very cared for <laughs> and like he's gonna take me shopping and stuff I was like starting to feel like a princess and I was like oh my god this is amazing um and I, I experienced something very interesting in that moment with the money high where I was like, oh my God, I wouldn't have to worry about anything ever again. I got this, almost this like deep inner despair feeling where I was like, <laughs> it's very interesting. I was like, I, I basically like lived in my mind the life that I would probably live if I were going to be making a lot of money. And um, I realized that it would not uh, satisfy that you know whatever it, it is that I feel like everyone has within them right kind of... so yeah and and again I this, I'm a hundred percent sex positive and I think that if that's the life you want to get into absolutely do it but I think it's important to kind of weigh all these decisions yeah. right so what was kind of cool was Amber what did you do like immediately after that meeting what was the thing that you did I went to work yeah you went to work <laughs> and, um and you you completely put this out of your mind, right? No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is the so, only thing on my mind. Right. So, but there were like three steps that you went through with this entire thing, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, there were. Yeah. Um. Well. So, so what was like one of the the first things that you did? Um, I ended up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah reference your paper because okay. you 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 prepped. I didn't. Okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I'm all about improv. See. <laughs> uh, but uh, um, you came up with. Uh, a list, right? I did. Okay, so tell us about this list. Okay. Um, so I wrote a pros and cons list. And on the pros and cons list, I wrote for pros, uh, money. <laughs> it's, a big, it's a big one, right? Underlined. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can help people. That was a big one I was very excited about. Uh, I could pay for school. Yeah. I can do awesome stuff. I wrote, sure. I can go to the ayahuasca retreat. I don't have to worry about money or, you know, like food or rent or whatever. Those were $2,000. But, you know, like, uh, repeatedly, like $2,000 for a shoot. And then for another shoot, I'm imagining, I was assuming it would be another $2,000. So I thought I would be getting sure. a lot yeah. of money. Go ahead. Coming in. Yep. Um, the cons. So selling my body. I don't know how comfortable I feel about that. I I don't know. Either way, I think it's whatever. Um, lying to my family. So I had also considered, I talked to the guy about, I was like, I don't know how I feel about my family knowing about this. He says, well, you know what we can do is we can actually take clothed pictures so that you can show them something, you know, so that they don't think anything more. Man, this guy was totally going to take care of you. Yeah, he was. He was really sweet. Um, <laughs> 
But I didn't know how I felt about that. So I was considering it. I was like, I'm going to have to lie to my roommates, my, you know, because, uh, and my mom and everything. And so I, I considered this throughout the day and I actually wrote, eventually I decided, no, I'm not going to lie. And so I write down my process. I'm not going to lie, underlined. And then later I start to change my mind a little bit. I have a question mark. Okay, maybe I'll lie. <laughs> right, sure. Um, I wouldn't remember who I was or wasn't lying to, so I actually wrote myself a list of who I was going to tell the truth to. Uh, one of them being this I guy. did make the short list. Yes, there's three people that. on the list, and he's one of them. Um, hiding money from the government. <laughs> he said that I could pay my taxes. I probably wasn't going to. <laughs> well, you, I don't think you can pay tax. Well, no, you can pay taxes on that. That's true. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> have to suck cock and be naked. I really don't like giving blowjobs. It is disgusting to me. So that was one of them. And then the three that really made me laugh. Feeling suppressed. Inner child crying, emptiness. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so you made this list, and even after this list, you were like, but $2,000, yeah. right? So what was the next thing you did? Uh, I ended up polling my customers. Okay, so now this is interesting. <laughs> so people are walking into a gas station <laughs> to buy cigarettes and junk food, because that's what people do when they come in to see Yeah, or gas. Right? I have gas occasionally. <laughs> um, but as they're walking in to make their mundane purchase, you're saying, hey, what? What is the question you ask here? Like, would you pay to see me in a porn? Like, what do you ask? What do you ask um, in this case? I, I asked them, I said, would, would you uh, perform naughty, you know, whatever's for this amount of money? I said, I just got offered this opportunity, and I'm deciding whether I want to do it. Yeah. And what were people saying? Oh, yeah. Totally. You should definitely do it. Yeah. It'd be great. I always <laughs> think that that's interesting. So I think that that's a really interesting thing to do, and I, most people said yes to it. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they say the same thing when it's asked about them. Would you do that? Well, I did. I did ask them And that. they said yes? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so I, th that's an interesting experience. I'm sure that they went home to their families or got on the internet and was like, the weirdest thing just happened at the gas station. <laughs> and Twitter, hey Twitter. Um, okay, so you did that and yeah. still you were still a little bit like, I'm not sure what to do because that's a lot of money. Uh, Eventually, I actually <clears throat> decided I probably wasn't going to do it nude. I was like... I was like, I'm not feeling good about this. Like, um, I'm probably just going to do them clothed. And then the guy comes in to my work. After I sent, right after I sent him a text saying I would like to do it clothed. He says, okay, no worries. And then he stops by the store and he says, I just got an offer for you. $3,500 to do your first naughty photo. Okay, Money so, high. <laughs> so now we just amped it up. So $2,000, you're seeing it as like, $2,000 is the Jesus Christ of money for you, right? <laughs> like that is going to solve most of the problems and, and everything. Yes. Now all of a sudden it's almost, don't watch, don't kick out. Sorry. Now all of a sudden it's almost double that amount. Yeah. Right? Right. So <laughs> to put things in context, I'm 43 years old. If someone came to me and said for $20,000 will you do this, it would I would be in the same dilemma. But if they came and they said $35,000, I would have a really hard time saying no. I, I, quite honestly. So, porn producers, if you're out there and you're watching this, $35,000, I'll do basically anything. All right, so Amber, <clears throat> um, now you've got $3,500 on the mind. Right. Whoa. Yeah. I would like to mention that at the time I was, I, well, I'm actually still reading this book called The Dark Night of the Soul. And I'm very much into, like, philosophical... Who's, it, who's it by? Oh, I don't know. Okay, don't worry about it. I'll find it. All right, so Dark Night okay. of the Soul. Dark Night of the Soul. And basically what this book is talking about is you will be given trials and kind of, like, almost tests um, to see, like... Basically, it's a book about, like, how to... Like, what's gonna, what you're going to experience as you're getting closer to uh, the oneness or 
eternal bliss or whatever, you know, uh, being one with God, uh, that kind of thing. And <laughs> at this time, so basically it's saying you're going to be thrown tests of the senses. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to be thrown tests of like uh, choosing, uh, you know, eternal bliss or the senses. And at this point, when I have this $3,500 money high, I'm going, sorry, <laughs> like, I'll be right with you, but I'm just going to go do this thing. <laughs> You're basically like, hey, God, I'm going to put you on hold for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be some nice, pleasant music. Eternal bliss, 3500 I mean... <laughs> All right, so now you've got this real struggle, and what's the next thing you do? Uh, the next thing I do? Well, you've set an appointment, right? Oh, yeah. You got Thursday. it a date. Yeah, Thursday. so it's Thursday. I was going to, yeah. You were going to do it. You had set it up. Now, You're like, I'm throughout, done. throughout this entire day, I'm having <clears throat> panic attacks. I'm feeling sad and really excited all throughout the day. I can barely focus. By the end of the day, I'm so tired. I'm thinking, I'm not even going to do it. I'm just so tired. I want this to be over. <laughs> right. right. And I mean, I mean that's got to be telling, right? Yeah. <laughs> but even after all of that, you're still like, but thirty five hundred dollars. Thirty five. I just kept saying that out loud. Thirty five hundred dollars. <laughs> right. Okay. So what's the next thing you do? I text this guy and I'm like, I need your help. Yeah. <laughs> and then you come over that night, and I don't know the context of this, right? right. Quite honestly, though, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not completely unprepared for this. I, you know, when you have daughters. You have to expect that all of the bad things that you hear about, not that this is a bad thing, but it's a thing that could be construed as bad or it could be a struggle. That whatever it is, I was, I, I, in the back of my mind, I've always had this, I, because I, my do, both my daughters are very pretty. And so you, you're the second prettiest. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, no, they're both very pretty. But, um, but I, I, Catcher's always, the prettiest. Catcher's the prettiest. Um, <laughs> But I've always had this, like, something like this is going to happen. And, you know, at some point I'm going to learn about it. What am I going to do? And this is the one time where I was like, oh, my gosh, maybe I've done okay as a parent because you came to me. That was awesome. <laughs> so you come to me, and then what do we talk about? Like, How was that experience? Because I know what it was like from my standpoint. What was it like from yours? It was really eye-opening because, honestly, before I had talked about it, I didn't really thoroughly think through what I was getting into. And that's kind of what he laid out for me was uh, the possibilities of what the the consequences could be for this decision. Even, like, um, like I hadn't really planned on, like, doing this for a long time, you know, but he said that a lot of people, like, you just keep getting the money. Like, you kind of almost, like, could become, like, an addiction. Well, more importantly, uh, what was the thing he was offering you like, hey, do this photo Porn. shoot. Porn. No, but, but more importantly, what was he saying? He was saying, yeah, we'll, we'll take you shopping. We'll get you into a car. Well, I thought that he was going to pay for that for me. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, and, and the thing is, is, and this is something to know about before you go into it is, yeah, you, they're going to take you shopping, but it's your money that they're going to help yeah, you spend. and I didn't know that. The, the car loan, he might have a deal with a local local dealership to make sure that you get a loan, but it's his money right. that's going to do it. So it's it's really important to remember that it's not just you're going to get $3,500 for this one shoot and you're going to be done. It's you're going to get $3,500. You're going to spend all that money like that. Yeah. And pretty soon you're calling him saying, I need more money. Yeah. And pretty soon he's offering less and less and less because he knows you need the money. Right. That's that's something really important to to remember. And I'm I'm speaking to everybody out there is that the thirty five hundred dollars might happen once, might happen twice. And this is out of experience with people he knows. Yeah. So just le this. letting people know, like, hey, these are important things to think about. And what were some of the other things that you, you had to think about? Um well, I hadn't thought that this could possibly sabotage career um, opportunities in the future. <laughs> yeah, I didn't it, think about that. Yeah, and it and it kind of does. Like this, that's why people become 
get into the industry and they stay in the industry is because when they try to leave the industry, by that time, most, most people have had their videos viewed millions and millions of times. And those millions and millions of views, that's everybody. Yeah. And so that it does, you do run a risk of if someone discovers that, like it can have an effect on your, your future yes. propositions. And then the biggest one was uh, family. So um, if I were going to get into this, I'd kind of leaned more towards I'm not going to lie about it because um, I have a very hard time lying to my family. Uh, I know that there would be a lot of them <clears throat> that would not support me in this, but I didn't consider that some of them might actually shun me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and that's a hard thing to remember is that as much people as much as people love you, they sometimes they just it makes them uncomfortable and if it makes them uncomfortable they might have a serious effect on it might have a serious effect on your relationships so yeah. that's a good point too yeah so lots and lots of things to consider what did you end up doing so it was I thursday didn't, you didn't do it i didn't do it no <laughs> Um, he asked me like four times, you didn't do it, right? Cause, I, no. Because <laughs> seriously, the pull of money is actually pretty pretty good. But I, I, one last interaction is you asked me you asked me a question, and I, I thought it was really kind of, it was actually really sweet. You asked me, would I do this? Would I do it? And my answer was, yeah. And you were like, really? And I was like, yeah, because I'm a boy, and... I can probably get out of a situation pretty easily if I get really uncomfortable and whatever, blah, blah, blah. And uh, then you asked me, would I do it if I were you? And I said, and I'm, f I'm in my forties. So like, whatever, my life's over. But you asked me if I would do it if I was you. And what did I say? No. Why not? I forget. What'd you say? Yeah. It was the risk was much higher than the yeah. reward. $3,500 in the long run. Yeah. He said, he said, money. I don't think it's worth your soul <laughs> and everything else in your life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, and I'm not, <clears throat> I really, I, it's very important to, to put out there. I feel that there are some people that they are okay with it. And if they're okay with it and they can make that decision and they decide to get into porn, what yeah. power to them. And I don't I think there's anything wrong with it. Zero things wrong with it. Um, just give me the URLs. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. But I think it's also really important to remember that sometimes people get into it because they see the money and they see the, the ease of, of getting that money. And sometimes when things are really, really easy, it means that you've got to sacrifice some other things. And if you're not willing to sacrifice those things, don't do it, right? Right. All right. Well, that was pretty interesting, Amber. Uh, <laughs> I'm a pretty interesting person sometimes. Yeah, that's why I had you on my show. <laughs> so, um, anything else? Any other advice you want to give? Advice? Uh, Don't have fu fuzz on your chin. That. Okay. Thanks so much, Amber. <laughs>